Hi and welcome to this brief screencast which is designed to demonstrate to you how to use a free web resource called StudyStack. You can find StudyStack at www.studystack.com and it's a particularly good free resource to enable you to design flashcards which can be used for revision for example. The beauty of it is that you can create, you can put your own data in, questions and answers, etc., and then you can decide which format you'd like the data displayed. So, for example, in flashcards as a crossword, in, uh, as an anagram, as a hangman, in various types of formats for your students. I found uh, by experimenting with it, however, that it actually is best for creating flashcards. That is its best resource. So in order to use uh, StudyStack and get started, you need to um, just freely sign up up here. Now, I've already created an account, so I'll log in, but you just need to click free sign up and you need to log in. So let me just put my login details in. Okay, and that will log me into StudyStack. So once I've logged in, you can see here on the screen the stacks that I've already created. So I've already created uh, a quiz about James Bond and I've also created a quiz for Beacot News staff. It's really easy to create a new stack or a new, um, a new stack of data by just simply clicking on create new stack here or here. So let's just click there. there. And then you can give your stack a name. A stack just means um, a list of data. So let's give this a name and I'll just call it demo stack. You can put in a description if you like. You can choose a category. Um, so let's just, we'll just call it um, biology, for example. And you'll notice over here, you get little um, instructions and little prompts uh, which explain what you need to do. But these are the settings for your stack. So just give it a name, a quick description. It's good to put a category in because um, all of this will become available to everyone using study stack. So if you're searching for a quiz, um, if somebody has given, uh, has categorized their stack or their, their quiz, it makes it easier for people to find. Um, so you can stop others from modifying your data if you want to, which I'm going to do. Um, and you can click here to generate random, uh, generate, just fill in blanks for clues and things. So let's just click save changes. And then let's go to the data tab. And here is where you'll put in your question and your answer. So this is where you'll fill in your um, your data. So I'm just going to switch the screen recorder off and just put in some questions and answers. Okay, so I've put in some questions and some answers. Obviously, they're correct. So the question, for example, what does BCOT stand for? Basin State College of Technology. So by just putting in your data, uh, let's just save that. Okay, and then we can go into slides and you can choose um, the background for your slide, you can put in an image if you want to for it to appear, etc, um, etc. Et so you can just format your slides here. I tend not to bother, to be honest. Okay, so having uh, put your data in and saved everything, you can add blank rows. If you want to add in more data here, you can add in blank rows. You can then choose down here, you'll see a number of formats. So you can choose how you'd like your data displayed. As I said before, um, I think this is better for flashcards. So if I just click on flashcards, you'll see here that our data is being displayed in flashcards. So here we have our questions over here. What does BCOT stand for? If I click on here, Basin State College of Technology, we've got that one right, so we can click on correct cards. And once we've completed that, it will flash up with, with how many answers you got right as a percentage, etc. You can obviously choose different ways to display your, for, um, your data. So for example, you might have a matching exercise. So here we have a matching exercise, so we can click here. If you dial eight, da, 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 da. if you dial eight hundred, uh, eight five hundred, who will answer the phone? Anthony Bravo, that's not the right answer. Let's try IT help desk. That's the right answer, for example. You'll also notice at the bottom when you've selected your uh, the format, it will give you an embed code. Which, if you copy and paste that, you'll be able to put into a website, or be, you'll be able to add to Boodle. So you can embed any of these activities into Boodle, for example. So that's just a, a quick demonstration of how to use the Study Stack resources for creating things like flashcards and matching exercises.